Hey guys, I'm Daniel from Full Tilt Drift, and today I'm going to show you how to clean out your idle air control valve and improve your idle with just a couple dollars in carb cleaner. First, you're going to want to pick up some carb cleaner. That's the only thing that's going to clean it out real easy, like. And I just want to say, no, this isn't a product placement by Gum Out, but Gum Out, if you're hearing this, hit me up. This is my intake manifold as it would sit against the engine. And here on the back side of it, you can see my idle air control valve. The idle air control valve is usually going to have electrical connectors on it because it uses an electric motor to open and close the valve to let air in. Aside from this, we're just going to have the bolts that you see here and the hose that allows air into the valve. So let's get the connectors and the bolts off and I'll show you how to clean this thing out. should be shiny metallic. All of that is dirty carbon buildup and that's what we're going to be cleaning out today. Alright, now that we got it off, we're going to use the carb cleaner and clean it out. Okay, so we've got our idle air control valve out. Now what we don't want to do is just half-ass the cleaning so that we're going to have to come back and do it again later couple tips that I can give you. In this hole, make sure that you spray off the spring really well. The spring is what returns the guide after the idle is over. And this is the adjuster screw to adjust the idle. That moves a bar in and out in this hole, which is going to allow a little bit more or a little less air in. So we're going to take this adjuster screw all the way out, since it's one of the few moving parts on here that we can clean, and make sure that we clean inside all of these holes and crevices really, really well. All right, now we got the screw all the way out, we can start cleaning it. Okay, now like I said, we're gonna make sure that we get all inside all of these holes and crevices, and we make the thing as spotless as we can. So as you can see, it's already coming off pretty easy. Mine wasn't that gunked up, but yours may be. Remember, we want to get inside that adjuster screw hole. Now you can see it's a uh, much, much cleaner, and even the spring in there isn't all gunked up, so that's gonna work a lot better. I'm a cautious guy, so whenever I have something that I'm gonna be threading in that could cause a vacuum leak, I always use some kind of tape to seal up the threads. So that's what we're gonna use on this adjuster screw. Now we got that all taped up. And now we have our adjuster screw back in. Alright, so now we've got our nice, fresh idle air control valve all cleaned out. We're going to throw it back in the car in the reverse order that we took it off. It shouldn't be too hard. definitely don't want to put these on too tight, that's why I only did a few hits with the impact, and I have a really weak impact driver. Don't worry guys, we'll get the electrical connectors back on, make sure they click into place, 
on most vehicles anyway. Clamp back on the vacuum line. Tighten up our bolts. Not too tight because it's an aluminum intake manifold. And we're done. All right guys, that's all for this time. Your cleaned off idler control valve should be back on and you should be idling like a boss. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video and I'll see you next time. Thank you.